I see you with my house fitting. You're welcome. I can only see my hands because obviously I'm not filming in the regular spot. I would usually film outside, which is kind of that way, but I it's not the best weather conditions to film outside. It's pretty damn windy, and it's also been raining a little bit. And yes, Tootie, it does rain in Australia. Uh, quite a bit, actually. We're in the wet season, which is generally spring and summer. It doesn't rain too much in winter, autumn, but rains quite a bit during the other times, so... It's also quite humid, which is not fun, but... As you can see here, this isn't just pickups that I've gotten uh, out and about. I mean, if I had found these all out and about, I would be, hap I would be happy, but... The pickups that I got just from out and about this week... Not too many, so I thought I'd show the packages I got as well, so let's get to this. This first lot of stuff, basically everything you see here is from one guy, just one Joe, known online as Corn Muffin. He is selling off a little bit of his collection, or maybe a large amount of his collection, I don't know. But we're friends on Facebook. He posted that he was selling some stuff and he had like a spreadsheet listing all the games and I picked out basically any Super Famicom title that was under $10, so... After shipping I paid around... Uh, I'd say about $7.50 each for this, a little bit over $7.50 but under $8 each, so... I'll show you what we got. We got... Pack in Time, which is actually a pretty decent platformer. We have Dragon Quest V, which I'm yet to play. Um, a lot of the RPGs I'm going to get around to playing a little bit later, I'm kind of going through them one at a time. Dark Half, which he was doing a gameplay of on his channel before he just stopped. Super Pinball Behind the Mask, not the best pinball game out there, but still pretty fun. All Star Dream Slam, whoa! Someone's calling the home phone. I'm not getting up to answer that, come on. I just sat down. Also got a New Japan game, something something fantastic story. Now these wrestling games on the Super Famicom, they're alright. They're not the best wrestling games and it's kind of hard to figure out how to do moves. We have Chrono Trigger here, which I have downloaded a uh, translation patch for and I can play it on my Retron 5. I believe this is Fatal Fury 2. It's by SNK, so I'm pretty sure it's Fatal Fury. Good fighting game. Super Mario World, which I already have on the uh, PAL Super Nintendo, but it's good to get a Super Famicom cartridge just because it's got different artwork and it looks interesting. Super Mario Kart, which believe it or not, before I got this cartridge, I had never played the original Super Mario Kart, and it's good. I would probably rather play Mario Kart 64 or one of the newer ones, but this is still pretty good for a 16-bit version. I'm yet to stick this in and play it, so I'm not sure exactly what kind of game it is. Far East of Eden, which is an RPG. I looked online for a translation patch for it, and I'm yet to find one. If anyone knows of a translation out there for this, please let me know. Dragon Ball Z, I believe the by title was Batoden or something like that. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know any language other than English, and I don't speak English very well either, so... This is a fighting game, it's pretty good, it's kind of hard to pull off the combos. Though, which that's more speaking to my... Not being very good at fighting games than saying what kind of game it is. We have this, which is some kind of weird astrology game, like it predicts your future and tells your fortune, it's kind of weird. I have one that I've played and finished already on the Retron 5. Poppin' Twinby, I believe that's the by title. I know Poppin' and I saw it and I thought, yeah, yeah, it's probably the shoot 'em up by Konami. And yep, it sure is. It's very fun. I played it with cheats because otherwise I would not be able to get through this game. It's hard. It is very difficult. We have Something Something 2, known in the West as Secret of Mana. Um... I can't really find a translation patch for this, but I can follow a guide of the English version online, so I shouldn't have too much trouble playing that. And Dragon Quest 1 and 2, just updated versions of the old Dragon Quest games. So probably, uh, probably better than the originals. At least I'd hope they'd be better than the originals. Alright, so, ooh, got one more. 
but it's in my retro on five at the moment. It's Final Fantasy VI. I'm actually playing it now. Well, not right now. I'm filming a video right now, but I've put like six hours into it so far. It's pretty good. It is pretty damn good. But I don't really want to take it out of the Retro on Five just right now because I hear that if you remove a cartridge from the Retro on Five, it deletes a save or something like that. So I don't really want to risk that happening. I think I'll just keep it in there until I finished it. Then I'll take it out and move on to the next game. Also got a few other Super Famicom titles. I've been winning quite a bit of them on eBay because I've had a bit of money to throw around from stuff I've been selling online and. All of the stuff you see here was paid through PayPal, so I didn't actually pay out of pocket for any of it. It's all just been from... It's all been paid from stuff that I've been selling online, so that's pretty fun. That's pretty good. And the first one I got is... This cost me $2.30 shipped. Another copy of Dragon Quest V, so... Um... I bought this around the same time that I bought this one. I thought maybe they were different. <laughs> nope. So if anybody wants a copy of Dragon Quest V, let me know, I'll just send it to you, I'm not looking for any money. Also got two Famicom, Super Famicom games here, two games in the Shin Megami Tensei series. I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei game except for Persona 4 and it was good, it's a good game but hopefully these are a bit better because Persona 4, it kinda, it weighed on me after a while. It was like 40 hours in, it was like... Man, stuff is happening, but not really stuff that I want to stay around for, so hopefully these are a bit faster paced. And then, the rest of it is pickups. Um, I told Raised by Dingoes that I probably wouldn't be doing a pickups video this week. I lied through my teeth. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of pickups, but I still got stuff, so... I only went out once, and I wasn't really looking for... I wasn't really looking to buy anything. I was out for a friend and he wanted to get a copy of GTA 4 and I said, well, Cash Converters probably has a copy and they didn't, so I just got one from JB Hi-Fi next door. But my local Cash Converters had this stuff. And when I see stuff cheap, I just can't help myself. So we have for the PlayStation 3 a copy of Mortal Kombat Complete for $5. I had to take the sticker off because I am selling this. Got a copy of Little Big Planet 2, also for five dollars. Nice and complete. I've got a Little Big Planet game on the Vita, and it's very fun. You can download levels for it. It's a side-scrolling uh, platformer. We have two PlayStation 2 games. We have Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast, which I already have, but for two dollars, I wasn't going to leave it there. It sells for uh, more than two dollars, so I should be able to get my money back plus some. We have Buster Block, which is going into my Midas collection. I'm still trying to get all of the games by the company Midas. That's all complete in there. It's in good condition. It actually looks like a pretty good game. It looks like the old Breakout, so hopefully it's good. And then Lord of the Rings, the Motion Picture Trilogy. This looked kind of sus. I thought maybe it was like a bootleg or something, but then I saw that sign there, which is... What is it? It's the UK way of... What the hell do they call them? Like, I know it's the Peggy rating, but... Ratings. Done. <laughs> Age ratings. You know, if it's like 15 plus, you can only see it if you're 15. Stuff like that. I'm sorry, I'm just drawing a blank, but... I saw this, this trilogy. It was only $5. It comes on six discs. It's all of the movies. And I haven't seen the Lord of the Rings movies for many, many years. I don't think I've seen one since Return of the King came out on DVD. So, it should be good to go back and watch them. I might watch them on the weekend or something like that. And then the last thing for this video. Yo, I went to JB Hi-Fi, which is just next door to my local cash converters. And they were having a sale on all of their PSP stuff, as they have been for a little while. They're pretty picked through by now. Mostly by me, but... They still had one thing that I wanted and what well, didn't pick up the times I've been in there before, so there's a copy for five dollars of Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. And it is quote unquote brand new. It's got like a seal on it, but it's like a JB Hi-Fi seal, so 
Technically, it's not brand new, but what can you do? And I've been looking for a copy of this for a while. I hear nothing but good things about Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, and I didn't want to get the DS version, which I see quite often. I want to get the PSP version because I prefer to play my PSP over the DS, so should be good. Wanted for five dollars. I thought I got a good deal on it. And that's everything for this week. I'll have to start cleaning some of this stuff. I'll have to quote unquote edit this video together. And that's really everything. So to see good my house bidding you farewell and that short one this week. I'll see you guys later. And that's all, folks.